everybody, it's Emmy. Welcome back. It is August 29th. It's just been one day since I applied the Swiffer pads to the corner of my hive that has hive beetles, and I just quickly want to show you the results. Um, I also took off this honey super. I want to condense the bees down so that they don't have as much territory to protect. So I used a bee escape, which is this little thing right here. It's basically a valve, so it allows the bees to let me squish this hive beetle here. It allows the bees to go back down, but then it doesn't allow them to come back up. There's a couple little copper flanges here that don't allow them. So it's a good way to get the honey super or wherever you want them out. There's still some bees in there, but not too many. So uh, let me show you, look, an ant's taking hive beetle away, yes. So let me show you what I did here. Here are the bees. And here are the Swiffer corners right here. This is just after one day. Two hive beetles, three hive beetles, four hive beetles. And look over here. The bees are like, get out of my house. So these Swiffer pads definitely work. Definitely work. The legs become ensnared, and so I'm going to be replacing them and coming in here and checking them tomorrow and get rid of them as well. So, Swiffer pads in the corner. Get a thumbs up from me. Alrighty, thanks for tuning in. Just want to give you a quick little update about the small hive beetles and the swiffer pads. I also put two down in the bottom, so I'm going to give those a check as well. Alright, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye! <laughs>